Good day fellow hunters, this is Jared Lantern. Uh, coming to you with a video. I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of uh, the new location for our haunt. And right now we are in the backyard of the new house. And um, straight ahead is kind of like a, a shed within another shed. And um, I'm gonna be using it mostly as like a workshop for hopefully building a lot of props this summer. Um, but also for this would uh, most likely be the beginning of the haunt not exactly sure how I'm going to utilize this space um, but let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and see what it looks like so this is um, kind of like the opening that you just saw and I really like how it's a little enclosed hallway here um, possibly have some uh, decorations up here and this is it would pretty much be like the workshop area um, where I would do a lot of the uh, prepping of the homemade props. Um, I mean, if you look around, there's just like tons of um, electrical outlets, and I would love to utilize that um, for some in um, uh, sheltered props could be in here. Um, and um, yeah, I would really like to be able to do something in here. And then there's like a secondary storage thing over here. Let me turn the light. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this purely as just storage and not use it for the haunt, but it would be pretty cool to have kind of like a scare in there as well because there's a, a door that can open up. And so this is a pretty nice sized area. Um, infested with black widows. So I'm going to have to come in here with some uh, bug spray to take care of that because uh, yeah I'm not a fan of spiders whatsoever so that's uh, where I was standing uh, before so they would probably enter through there and then so the next challenge would be um, or the biggest challenge I should say would be to somehow make this whole area when you walk out of here up until that back porch that you see ahead uh, covered and I want the entire haunt to be sheltered um, because I will have some props outside as well. And I've never done um, like a large portion of a haunt outdoors. It's usually indoors. Um, so that'll be kind of a challenge to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm most likely going to try to do like a, a PVC canopy type of deal uh, using tarps and hopefully that'll be uh, sufficient so the only problem is it's not a real straight ahead uh, you know direction so it might have to you know do a turn or just somehow an angle to get people angled back to that uh, back porch so um, again this would be the entrance not not exactly sure if there would be a theme here or if it would just be like a general uh, kind of like a queue line so to speak um, they would uh, initially int uh, enter from the side of the house and come all the way back here. Um, don't know how much I'll have when they walk through the backyard to get here, but I definitely want to have some stuff set up over here. And um, so, yeah, and then I, I would assume that as soon as they enter out here, that this would be the um, haunted pumpkin patch area. And... Um, this is the part that would be needed to be covered. So now I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the porch and we'll take a look. So now this is the porch you would have just seen. Um, and so I plan to have this kind of like the, the sides covered up. Um, not exactly sure what this is gonna be, if it's still gonna be the end of the um, the haunted pumpkin patch. I was thinking about maybe having like both the uh, pumpkin nester and the swinging scarecrow, um, hanging, uh, hanging out up here. 
really no place for them to hang out um, on the outdoor areas. So this might be a continuation of the haunted pumpkin patch, depending on how much room I have inside. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way up here. And so that is the uh, porch we just walked up from. Uh, we're now uh, in the inside part of the uh, of the haunt. So we swing around here. This is a uh, kind of a smaller area. This is a laundry room kind of being used also as a storage room right now. Um, I thought about you having used this as the uh, vampire's lair because of the fact that it is a smaller um, section. I don't have tons of vampire props, um, nor do I plan on getting any more than I already have. Um, and I've already thought about the different type of props that can be sticking out or hanging from these uh, shelves up there. And, um, and there's counts already in here, so. Um, this uh, door, it will not be utilized. That is uh, the bathroom door. <laughs> um, and if we swing around here, this continues over here. Now, um, this is obviously the kitchen. You know, a lot of people do not use a lot of the indoor part, parts of their house for their haunt. Um, they don't really care for strangers coming through their home. And I totally understand that. Um, but being that I really don't want to risk any of uh, the props getting damaged outside. I try to do as much of it inside as I possibly can. Um, I live in California and the weather is usually pretty nice during uh, Halloween time. Um, but you know two years ago we had a haunt and it was extremely rainy and stormy so you never know. Um, but this is a nice big kitchen so uh, this would be either going to be the uh, laboratory and asylum or the haunted homestead because those are the two themes that I have the most props for and obviously this is one of the bigger spaces so more room for the props um, you know I don't, I'm not sure if anybody realizes but if you had seen my uh, video for my haunt last year the Brown Street Horror Story that was a different place obviously we just moved um, that all took place in a really small apartment um, and yeah, so we pretty much walked through the entire apartment for the haunt. So uh, if I was able to do that, I think I can, you know, handle doing it in, you know, in just part of the house. Um, so they'll walk through here. That is a door to the dining room. Um, if, and that's a big if, I use any of that area, it would only be part of it. And that's only if we need extra room. Um, coming over here through this door, there's just kind of like a bonus room off the side of the kitchen. Uh, very small room. As you can see, it's kind of just like a prop um, storage place right now. But um, it's only about maybe five foot uh, deep by about I don't know, 15 feet wide. So it's pretty small, but um, it can either be used for a live actor to pop out of or be like a really tiny walkthrough area. Really haven't figured it out yet. Um, I have five themes and I have about one, two, three, four, five areas, but um, you know, some of the areas need more room than this. So that is about it, you guys. Now, my biggest challenge, other than um, finding a way to cover the outside, is um, finding a way to get people to enter and exit through the same door. Now, in previous haunts, now the only one that you would have seen is last year's because I didn't have a, a channel prior, but last year, we move a lot. <laughs> We've moved uh, quite a few times over the last few years. And uh, I don't know, we just kind of get bored with uh, places we live easily. But um, Last year, we had a specific entrance through the front door and then an exit through the back gate. The year before that, which is one you wouldn't have seen, it was an entrance through the front door and then an entrance, uh, exit through the back door. Um, and then before that, it was an entrance through the front door and an exit through the side door. Um, this year, like I said, they're going to start out there at the shed that you see out there. They're going to make their way up here, come up to the porch and swing in here, come through here, 
go to that room where you see the skulls back there. Um, and they're going to somehow have to come back around and retrace their steps as an exit. Now that's going to be pretty difficult. That's most likely going to entail that each room that I just showed you is probably going to be more than just one theme. For instance, one half will be one theme and the other half will be another theme because they'll be walking one direction, coming in this way, and then walking another direction, coming out. So I can't necessarily guarantee that each room is going to have its own theme simply because I'm going to have to divide it so that it's a completely different experience. I don't want them coming through here and this being the asylum. They go in there and they, it's, we'll say that'll be like the Witch's Hollow, for instance, and then it's the end of the haunt and they turn around and they're just walking back through the asylum again. Kind of ruins the effect. Kind of lame. So, for instance, they'd walk through here and half of it would be the asylum. They'd walk in there, be the witch's hollow. They walk over back over here and then this other half would be, you know, like the haunted homestead with the ghosts. Still trying to figure it out. It's going to be difficult. I have two challenges as I've stated already, the biggest challenge, of course, is the um, enclosing outside for the Haunted Pumpkin Patch, and then the one I just said right now about how people are going to enter and exit through that door right there. So it'll be um, it'll be an interesting challenge, but um, I'm up to it, and I'll see what I can do. But So there it is, you guys. I hope this little mini tour wasn't too boring for you. Um, Thank you for watching. If you like what you are seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy haunting.